problem 3-60. I'm going to be starting with part C. So first we want to copy out these expressions and then we want to simplify them by combining like terms. So let's start by copying it out. We have 2y squared plus 30x minus 5y squared plus 4x minus 4y minus y. So let's see, we start with any x squared. We don't have any x squared, so let's see how many x's we have. We have 30x here and 4 more x here. So we can grab those and get 34x cross those out. All right, now after that, we'll see if we have any y squared, and we do. So we have two y squared here, and negative five y squared here. So we can combine those, and we'll end up with negative three y squared. So we can just add these two numbers out front. So a positive two and a negative five will be a negative three y squared. So we cross them out. Now we look for y's. We have a negative 4y and a negative y. We can combine them to be a negative 5y. Cross them out. And it looks like we don't have any terms left. So we've now simplified the expression to be 34x minus 3y squared minus 5y. So let's do part d as well. So we'll write out the expression. It will be negative 10 plus 3xy minus 3xy plus y squared plus 10 minus y squared. So let's start by grabbing, let's go with the xy's first. So we have a positive 3xy and we also have a negative 3xy. So if we combine those, we'll end up with actually nothing. Because we have just as much in the positive as we do in the negative. So they cancel out and we'll get zero right there. Um, now let's grab the y squared. So we have a positive y squared. And we also have a negative y squared. So once again, because we have the same amount of positive and negative, they're going to cancel out. And we're just going to get plus zero again. Now finally what's left is, oh, and we should probably be crossing them out. Makes it easier to tell when you're done. So now what we have left is a negative 10 and a positive 10. So negative 10 plus 10 is going to be zero. So we're actually just going to have a whole lot of nothing end up with zero. So you can see why it's pretty good to uh, simplify these expressions because it looked like we have, we had quite a bit going on here, but really, it was just equal to zero.